Hey guys, Shaq Ruff here. Hope you guys are doing well. It's been a very long time um, because I mostly stopped opening cards. I still collect, but I mostly sell what I have in stock instead of buying, uh, explaining why I didn't have much to show for the longest time. Um, if you don't recognize the background and if you think that the background is kind of all over the place it makes sense I just moved uh, a couple gotta say a couple months ago but uh, moved from a, an apartment in Montreal to a house not in Montreal so lots of changes um, so that's why this is what it is right now at some point it's gonna be better than that it's gonna look better uh, I might change my camera because I realize that it kind of sucks um, that being said I have something special today because I received a package it's open, as you can see, uh, from Dr. Price, from President's Choice uh, Trading Cards, Hockey Cards. Uh, he started a new product called President's Choice Game Used. Um, it was supposed to be a packed uh, product, so a product that you buy packs of, uh, with, I think, five cards per pack, something like that. The packs were made. Uh, with, with the war uh, that Upper Deck has and with the... Uh, not retailers, but the the, the distributors. Uh, it was impossible for Dr. Price to actually sell his product uh, through distributors um, to the hobby shops. So uh, he decided to go directly through his website um, to sell uh, the singles. So he is releasing one subset per week. Uh, this week was week two, so there's still plenty. I think uh, I I saw or I was listening to a podcast where he was interviewed, and I think there are like 15 subsets or something like that. So we're in it for the long haul. Uh, my wallet's very really not happy, but it's okay because um, my collector's heart is very very full. Uh, week one was uh, a subset called AKA uh, with nicknames from players, uh, and as you can see, I. Bought a couple of them. I there seems like there's five, or maybe there's a decoy. I don't even remember. Uh, but I know I went crazy. I saw the first the email saying it's not live. I went on it, saw a bunch of cards. I was like, holy shit! I need to get to this. I'm sorry for my language. Um, and then I realized that it would be like several subsets and probably a lot more cards that wants. Uh, week two is called auto threads, so you know, like autographs on. Uh, like swatches um, nothing I was interested in in that subset personally because I collect Habs vintage memorabilia and there was no Habs vintage players because they're mostly dead at least the ones I collect are um, but there was there is still several very very nice cards so I'll, I'll post the link below uh, if you guys are interested in that first week was aka and I haven't checked out the cards yet so this is very exciting for me um, so I can, I don't know how you want to do that, I can do it like that, so decoy the front so you can see, so my first card is another white decoy, another white decoy, I'll get to it, it's more exciting that way, right, let's uh, skip, uh... oh, so the big, the first, so it's all decoys, oh, okay, so first, so four cards, that's more like it, I figured it was four, so first card I purchased on the site, game used. Look at the swatch. I, sorry, I'm not used to that setting. So we have a Jacques Plante, AKA Jake the Snake. Uh, and numbering here, numbered one out of five. And what's great is that even for the cards that are numbered out of 5 or out of 10, because depending on the sets, um, I think the AKA, the highest print run was out of 5. Uh, but you could see the 5 pieces, the 5 cards, and you could select the one you wanted uh, in the case that there's none sold yet. Uh, I jumped on that one because I, I really liked the stitching. I like the 5 copies are the same price, but obviously some pieces are kind of a bit nicer. I'm really sorry for that bad quality. Anyway, so take the snake out of five. Second card, I, I really enjoyed that they, let's see if I can 
do this here. Ah, there you go. Second card, game used. I'm sorry, we don't see much, but it's it's some leather, and you know it, the little giant Aurel Joliet. Uh, he's my main collecting point nowadays. And this one, obviously, is a one of one. I mean, it's a fairly plain leather swatch, um, but I love Joliet, obviously my main collection. Third card, I like the swatch of this one. Oh yeah, oh that's pretty. George Hainsworth, aka Little George. I actually didn't even know his nickname. And obviously, 101. I, um, that was a George Vezina card. I'm pretty sure I had first shot at it because I was there very, very, very early on the website as soon as it released. Uh, I decided not to go for it. I should have because I'm a Vezina collector. Like Joliet, Hainsworth, Vezina are like my main three at Plan sometimes. But, uh, oh well, I, I decided not to go for it. Uh, I actually know why because it was a piece of stick. Um, and although, like Vesna sticks are super rare. I I'm not a fan. I, I mean I I, I love it. Um, I prefer pads. Uh, of course pads are extremely scarce. I, I guess the sticks as well, but I, I find them more appealing. Uh, so I decided not to go for it. I decided to go for another one though. Uh, that I I think that's only my second piece of him, and I think it's gonna be available. Uh, hit me up if you guys are interested. I know some people will will be. Uh, I feel a bit bad that I got that since I know so many collectors. Uh, well, because I know other collectors that are uh, after this guy. Um, but I, I, I like the price was right. I, I had to go for it. So you will see. Like oh, that swatch is nasty. It's kind of it's really nice. Leather again. You probably recognize the face if you're into vintage. Frederick Taylor, aka Cyclone. He's actually more known as Cyclone Taylor, but I just had to go for that. Look, big, big leather swatch. Uh, the price was extremely good for a, a Cyclone Taylor piece. I had to go for it. Um, was, oh, it's part of his Kate, actually. A piece of skates and of course numbering it's a one on one cyclone tailors are extremely scarce uh, so what was the Joliet out of it was also a piece of skates like I prefer when they're gloves um, I'm not complaining I, I so maybe oh there you go you can see a little bit of the details of the leather like that I I mean if I get back to that video business I need to uh, to, to uh, have a better camera or lighting. There's no lighting. I'm not set for that yet. And of course, like the plan's out of five, but it's really cool. It's really pretty. So there you have it, guys. Uh, this is President's Choice uh, Game Used. It's a new set. Uh, Dr. Price is releasing a new subset every week for the foreseeable feature. Uh, he was even saying that if like this is going well, since it's a release, like an ongoing release with new sets every week, maybe he could create new sets to like add at the end of the weeks that he already has planned. Uh, there's a bunch of cards from that, that are gonna come out. There's a bunch of cards I'll be after. Uh, I'm not gonna get everything because obviously everyone's gonna get on the website as soon as it's released every week. I'll probably miss some big pieces that I would love to. Also, just my wallet's not going to accept uh, me going that hard every week. But that was the first week I got excited, and I'm very excited. I'm very happy that I went for them, because uh, I guess the, the next weeks are not going to be that pretty and that easy to find to, to get my PC pieces. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I miss you guys. I hope you guys are doing well uh, during this crazy pandemic period time. Um, I'll try to like pass by every once in a while, maybe after a couple of weeks of uh, me getting
getting more pieces for President's Choice, I'll go back for it. Uh, but I'll keep you posted, guys. So nice to see you again, and uh, see you later.